clean air. To tackle the burdening problem of air pollution, I propose to provide an amount of 2,217 crores of rupees for 42 urban centres with a million plus population in this budget. Scrapping policy. We are separately announcing, Honourable Speaker, a voluntary vehicle scrapping policy to face out old and unfit vehicles. This will help in encouraging fuel efficient, environment friendly vehicles, thereby reducing vehicular pollution and oil import bills. Vehicle, vehicles would undergo fitness tests in automated fitness centers after 20 years in case of personal vehicles and after 15 years in case of commercial vehicles. Details of the scheme will be separately shared by the Ministry. Vaccines. The pneumococcal vaccine, a made in India product, is presently limited to only five states. It will be rolled out across the country. This will avert more than 50,000 child deaths annually. Honourable Speaker, I have provided 35,000 crores of rupees for COVID-19 vaccine in this year 21-22. I am committed to provide further funds if required. So the budget outlay for health and well-being is 2,23,846 crores in this BE 21-22 as against the BE of only 94,452 crores and it marks an increase of 137 percentage. The details of the same are at Annex Show 1 of the speech. Honourable Speaker, I now move to the second pillar, physical and financial capital and infrastructure. Atmanirbhar Bharat production linked incentive schemes are things which I would like to pay, place an emphasis. For a five trillion dollar economy, our manufacturing sector has to grow in double digits on a sustained basis. Our manufacturing companies need to become an integral part of global supply chains, possess core competence and cutting edge technology. To achieve all of the above, PLI schemes to create manufacturing global champions for an Atmanirbhar Bharat have been announced for 13 sectors. For this, the government has committed nearly 1.97 lakh crores over five years starting this financial year. This initiative will help bring scale and size in key sectors create and nurture global champions and provide jobs to our youth. Textiles. To enable the textile industry to become globally competitive, attract large investments and boost employment generation, a scheme of mega investment textile spark will be launched in addition to the PLI schemes. This will create world-class infrastructure with plug-and-play facilities to enable create global champions in exports. Seven textile parks will be established over three years. Infrastructure. The National Infrastructure Pipeline, which I announced in December 2019, is the first of its kind whole of government exercise ever undertaken by Government of India. The NIP was launched with 6,835 projects. The project pipeline has now expanded to 7,400 projects. Around 217 projects worth rupees 1.10 lakh crores under some key infrastructure ministries have been completed. The NIP 
is a specific target which this government is committed to achieving over the coming years. It will require a major increase in funding from both the government and the financial sector. In this budget, I propose to take concrete steps to do this in three ways. Firstly, by creating the institutional structures. Secondly, by a big thrust on monetizing assets. And thirdly, by enhancing the share of capital expenditure in central and state budgets. Infrastructure needs long-term debt financing. A professionally managed development financial institution is necessary to act as a provider, enabler and capitalist for infrastructure financing. Accordingly, I shall introduce a bill to set up a development financial institution.